Good morning, good morning. Right, I am sorting out. <laughs> God. Ooh, after my classroom clear up and sort out and change around and all the rest of it, I've now got a bunch of stuff that I've got no idea what I'm going to do with. So I've got this huge basket full of things that I found when moving my room around to just sort. So this might be a bit boring, this video, but I need to sort this box because it's driving me bananas. Um, yeah, so I've got my Christmas Roxy thing to stitch. Now, initially, I was going to do it accordion style like that, but I've had... I've got a bit of a dilemma because they're not all the same size. Even though I used the same... Um, what would you call it? Like quilting square to cut the background pages they've all ended up different blooming sizes which is slightly annoying so <sighs> what I might do is individual pages back to back them and individual pages and somehow make a spine so I need to think about that one a bit, a bit more um, I found all these I used to make tons of these and they were just jammed in a well in a drawer basically that's a mini wreath thing but yeah these um stitched well crocheted um mini wreaths actually you shouldn't be up there you should be oh i see like that i knew there'd be a method yeah so um i need to finish these off well this one's finished actually i just don't do that one uh, yeah, so that, yeah, they sort of hang on your Christmas tree. I can't even remember. It looks like a treble crochet UK version. I don't quite know what that is in other countries. Um, but I've got these ones done and they just need finishing off. So, and they look so pretty when they're hung up. And obviously this is a yarn that's got a bit of glitter in it as well so no idea what it is it's uh, yeah i can't even remember the last time i looked at these but you just crochet around a bangle you know jewelry bangle thing right so they need finishing off this needs putting on a spool that's the word right let me um i can't move Ugh. This is a hand sewing project that I want to do with you guys, but I just keep never find find the blooming time. So they're going to be they are hand stitched that shape. I don't know what what would you call it that shape anyway. Um, and I'm going to make little sort of pin cushions out of them. So and I think I've got the whole yeah I've got the whole thing sorted. <sighs> Looks like I've got all the bits together. So that goes around the edge and that's a stand-up bit for your clips to go on you know your sewing clips i think that oh susan so many projects why don't you just blooming finish them i think i was going to use that as the backing i don't know all right so that's another one that needs this was a roxy creations job and i thought i would use it to make I don't know a journal cover or a um, a panel in a bag or something so yeah it's another thing that I need to think about these are all ready cut kits and I'm getting annoyed with myself for not having finished these because they were all pressed and ready to go so let's just see if we can tidy this up a bit I don't know, are you like me? Do you get all this stuff cut ready thinking, yep, yeah, I'll make a pile and then I'll get on and stitch it and you never blooming get round to stitching it. So, and it's super annoying now. So maybe I'll just have a whole stitching on the machine day today. I was going to do some hand stitching, but I say these things, they just hang about. I mean, I have done quite a few of my death pile as I call it why aren't you folding nicely um but yeah I need to I need to do a lot more I mean it was a huge pile to be fair I tend to do that I, I don't know it's just my method I guess I make a a big pile 
ready cut to go and I just yeah no more excuses shut up waffling so I think that's all one set there yeah yeah everything's cut even the vinyl you know so let's wrap that in there stop that all losing itself right okay yeah that's probably about it actually I mean then there's that's excess fabric in case I need it this is a butterfly one. Oh, maybe that's the inside of that one. Yes, it would be. Right, okay. Right, so, yeah, inside and outside. That's those travelling sewing things that I make. can't think what they're called. And this is another one all ready to go. Look. See how blinking disorganised I am. Oh, it's all about time. I bought all the paint for my bedroom yesterday, so I need to get on and do that. I need to take about three weeks off work and then I'll be sorted. That's not going to happen. I'm not allowed to book. I don't think we're allowed to book more than two weeks at a time. I don't know. Anyway. Right. So, yeah, that's all together. So that just needs sewing. Right, I'm going to put those over by my sewing machine. That just needs a new thread put through it. So why haven't you done it yet? I don't know. Right. Well, these are... Oh, that's my... Yeah, I put those in there for safekeeping, didn't I? Liberty Fabrics. Um, these are gel-printed fabrics that I need to decide what I'm going to do with. This is gel-printing on... Um, interfacing that's the word it's more gel printing on multi-purpose cloth that is gel printing on yeah i think that's interfacing again this one is on a fusible web so another project that you started and never finished well done these are what are these Oh, these are little bags. See, again, I've got all the zips ready. It's all sorted. Just need to sit the bloom, stitch the blooming things. All right, okay. You can go back over by the sewing machine. Now, these are the giant bags. I don't know if you watch Christine's Home Affairs. She does some amazing tutorials on how to make things. And this is the big shoe bags. Such a good idea, such a good idea. So I think I've got two of those cut ready to go. Yeah, and again, they're really quick makes actually. So I don't know why I just haven't got round to doing them. And I think this is the same again. <sighs> yeah, this is another shoe bag. I say zips already, all the tabs ready cut. Two of them. <sighs> yeah. All right. So that can go there. This is, oh, this is a little bag with its handle, ready to be stitched. Oh, you're so naughty, Susan. There's two of those. All right, I'll get those done. That, I presume, is for the big one. See, I've even got all the linings cut, everything, just stitching. And that's the same again. That's another bag, and I think that's another bag by the looks of it. Yep, all its lining cut. That's a pocket by the looks of that. Yep, and that's the insides, that's the back. Yeah, again, another one <laughs> ready to go. Oh dear lordy, Susie, Susie. Right, okay, there's not that many there to be fair. I could do those, right. Okay, so that's all sewing, let's put those back in there. So they're all ready to go, cool. So it's that, and so is that. So that's a good, a good solid day of stitching organized there right put that by the machine so i need to make a decision about you don't i what are we going to do with you i can't remember why i did it on interfacing there was a reason <laughs> i can't remember why this is fabric paint because i i remember the some of them were glittery let's um leave that there i hope you enjoy the sorry these sort of videos but 
sometimes it's quite nice to see people organising their lives if they've got one. Oh, there's some more gel printed fabrics in there. Oh, my lordy. Right, okay. So, yeah, I did these. Super bright and colourful. That goes that way. Um, and I just need to think of a project to make with it. This is the multi-purpose cloth. I haven't got any at the moment. A lot of people were ordering it and then moaning about the postage. It's a heavy fabric. It's very densely woven and it prints beautifully like that. So that's why, yes, I know there was one lady said it costs more in postage than it did for the goods. Yes, it's an expensive fabric, especially if you buy it from, um, sorry, it's not an expensive fabric. It's expensive to post, especially if you buy it out of the UK. So yeah okay so i need to make a decision on a project for that and that's just acrylic paints by the way this is another gel print very subtle it's on um quite a thin cotton this one but again that's really pretty i like that one i was going to do these to sell in the shop i don't know if they're anybody's cup of tea i'll be honest with you but they are totally unique i guess i ought to scan them really and um I've always thought about looking into one of those websites where you can print your own. I mean, I wouldn't be able to sell that because they are uh, manufacturer's stencils, basically. So I wouldn't be able to copy and do that one. But these are just um, tubes, rolls, you know, that kind of stamping. I think that needs more on it. Needs more stamping on it. So maybe I'll leave those out. Need a little bit more yeah that one as well i can see black or brown on there or something i think this one is done let's have a look yes i could sell i could scan and sell the copies of that one because this is all my designs on here apart from that one at the back there i think no i think that's a paper one that i made so yeah and then just circles and more circles yeah that one See, I thought this one would make a nice bag, like that. It's kind of how I designed the, the des designed the design. Maybe it needs to come down just a tad. I think it was a trifold, yeah. Or maybe a, well, I don't know, maybe a cover of some sort. I don't know, it'd be nice to stitch into that actually. I could cut that up and put that in my um, hand stitching book, couldn't I? Although I could use one of these, which I can't remember why I did them on. <laughs> why did you do them on interfacing? Oh, I can't remember. I mean, it's quite translucent in places, so. But that would me that would be quite cool to sort of cut that into a page size and then embroider into the gaps, wouldn't it? I'll do that right I'll put that there with my pile of stuff that I need to do stuff with that needs more paint what's this one okay again I think that could do with some you know black lines like like on there just to or maybe some doodling on it or something okay so that's one to do stuff on so that can go there with those ones. Are you entertained? <laughs> uh, that's another um, interfacing one. See, I had visions of doing machine embroidery on these. If I did it in black, that would really make it pop out, wouldn't it? Okay, right. We'll put that there. And this is the fusible one. This was a clean-up sheet, believe it or not. And it's, um, yeah, it's a fusible, lightweight interfacing. You can see the glue on the back there if I catch it in the light. Um, but again, it needs maybe some big, bold flowers or something. I might cut some flowers out of felt and embroider them on there. And then fuse the whole thing. Although, no, fuse it first and then put the flowers on. And machine embroider them in yeah machine embroider them on yeah it was a clean up one that one so but you know very translucent you see my hand through there so maybe if you put it on a patterned fabric 
let's just let's just use you for a minute. I know you've got another destination, don't worry. Yeah, so you get the background come through if it was really bold. Okay. I'll have to look into that. That'd make a really unique bag or journal cover or something, wouldn't it? So Okay. So that I'll roll it that way so that the glue is inside. Okay, so basically those three are ready to go. I've got my bit behind me that I can put in my... So I need to do something with those. And those need extra bits and bobs. So I'll put them here next to me and then I'll remember them. They just need finishing off. But I might put them in my Christmas box actually and then when I get all the Christmas stuff out in July because it's buried under my desk at the moment that's what I'll do um, I can then go through because I think I've got some more of these metal snowmen somewhere so I can put those in there right, I'll put them in the Christmas box under my desk and then when Christmas in July starts That'll be a project that I will get done. I want you to hold me to that, okay? Just, you know what it's like in here. And these, I just need to finish them. See, it's finished. I need to finish. These are little sewing kits that I've made. Magnetic, you've got a magnetic pin holder there, or needle holder. And then I've got two layers of wool felt. I'm going to stitch the little birdie on, and then that's like a... Yeah, you know, somewhere to put your needles off of there hold them there and then that's something you can just chuck in your handbag they're little um, they're unused I don't know if they were cigar cases or I don't know I can't remember what they were but um, yeah I need to decorate the fronts a bit more this one is pretty well done apart from I need to stitch the sheepy on there I might put a little bit of wadding in the middle actually and make them a little bit more puffier because there's plenty of room. Hmm, okay. And I think this one, butterfly one I'm thinking. Yeah. So they are little hexagons of fabric. Am I even in screen? Yeah. Um, little hexagons of fabric. And then I do another hexagon of fabric on the back and there is a magnet in there it's one of those really strong niobium ones or whatever they're called and then you just do another one on there and then the beauty of them is um on your fabric you can put that on top you you'd have seen these most stitchers have them but it holds it on your fabric for you so when you have your pins needles it just stays on your work don't fall off cool very useful indeed especially if you've got a little travel kit um, yeah stops you losing all those needles so yeah I say it's just stuff that I need to finish it's ridiculous isn't it so they need doing that just needs a new cord remember why it needs a new cord oh the um the hold the cincher thing uh you can get those i don't know what they're called but they, they hold the when you've gathered the bag they're like a ball thing and you just press the top and then you can slide the thing it all got caught in the cord the cord was too thick for them so i've now got some narrower cord so let's chop this one out it's a bit of a waste but it's not working and I need to get the ball thing on there so yeah so that's a very easy fix that one threads everywhere this room of mine yeah you I mean I need to make a decision about you are you gonna go on a bag or a journal I see it make a cracking journal cover wouldn't it you there yeah this is the I don't know where's, where's the other ones 
oh they're downstairs I've got some other ones that I've made which are miniature um yeah perhaps we'll do this let me know if it's something you'd be interested in watching or learning how to do it's not rocket science but um yeah making a um, pin cushion and then we do the um stand up sides for your clips to go on let me know if that's something you'd be interested in and i'll that'll really spur me on to do the tutorial so otherwise i'm a bit you know well i don't know why that's in there why are you in there you are not oh it might have been the underneath bit I think you're the sides. I planned it. <laughs> Didn't I do well? That's to cover that long bit. Yeah, okay, I need to go through that and think a bit more. I don't know why that's in there. It's the most beautiful cotton, but um, that doesn't need to be in there. I need to find something to back that with. Right, yeah, let me know if you're interested in learning that one. I say it's not difficult, it's just a bit of inspiration, really. And you, you need a spool. Now then, yeah, they're just behind me. I had a die cutting session, well, ages ago now. I've got this die that cuts these um, spools, would you call them? I suppose they are, aren't they? I've just wrapped this one up. This is the one Scarlet said, can I have it, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she never took it home with her. <laughs> so, Nanny will keep hold of it until she decides that she needs it. Yeah, there's jobs like this that we have to do in our craft rooms every now and again, isn't there? And if you don't do them, this is when your stuff gets ruined. Like, it gets all in knots, like this one was getting in knots. So if I wrap it nicely... And then I'll show you what I did off of my death pile. And that can all go on Etsy out of the way and go in the drawer. <sighs> yeah. You're going to go in? Actually, um, let's put a bulb pin in there. Woo. love these things they are so useful <laughs> they're one of those multi-use things where's those ones that I got at the West Point show we could wrap those couldn't we I don't know, what did I do with them? Right. One moment, please. I found them. Oh, and the other thing. <laughs> this is like two, three years ago. The Sew for the Soul book that I did with Anne Brooke. This is criminal that I've not finished this, quite frankly. It's all ready to go gosh do you know i don't even remember oh was that the color yeah god i didn't even know i'd done that you stitched on yes maybe it's not the cover i don't know anymore see this is what happens when you don't do it It was just such joy. Let me make sure you're in screen and you can see it. Yeah, such a joy to do. Yeah, that was the pocket with the tag. Can't remember what the prompts were now. I might have to go back and. Does it matter? I don't think it really matters, does it? That was a lot of work, but we did have a month to do them, so that was um, that was all right. That 
was the one with the hole, wasn't it? So that's got a line up. Love that. Yeah, that's what we had to do for that week. <laughs> I used to watch her videos. I'm like, All right, we've got to do that. Got to do that. Got to do that. Got to do that. That was fun. Oh, there's one there that I've not stitched on yet. Okay, you need to get that one stitched on. I know, Lynn, you said that you did all yours. You're so good. See, I've not even finished that one. Um, and what a joy it is to look back through. And isn't it just, you know, I'm sat here now and I'm like, oh, did I actually do that? <laughs> I must have done. Yeah, that was the heart in the pocket. So much fun. And yeah, and I think that it's not big enough for the cover. Was it a page? I think it was a page, actually, thinking about it. Lynn, I know you're up to date with this. Was that a page? They seem to be all flippy floppy layers. I wonder if it was. Because there's definite. Yeah, I think it might have been actually. I seem to remember that was the first one we did because I did some gel printed fabrics for that one. So maybe that goes at the back, maybe. I don't know. And then obviously I've got all these bits in here. What is in here? Oh, that was the list of stuff we needed. I seem to remember I got that out to make a big fastening for it. I don't know what I had planned for those, but I was going to put lace in between each layer. I might not do that. I might be really naughty and just stick it on the machine, I'll be honest with you. And then just... Um, zigzag stitch them together gosh there was a lot of work in there Susie Boos yeah that was just I remember that was going to be the um, fastener maybe that was the cover piece no it needs to be a lot bigger than that oh, that's a spare page right okay I've obviously done these little labels as well. Mini book and heart. Calm, breathe, square and circle. Right. Okay. So I have done these. Weaving. I remember seeing the weaving one in there. Mini book and heart. Yep, we saw that one, didn't we? Right. Okay. Well, I see. I didn't even know I'd done these. Endy bits. Whatever that means. Circles. Squares and circle. See, it's all ready to go. Right. I don't know why you're in there, but we'll put you back in there because obviously that was there for a reason. Right. And then once that's in, actually I might make a hard cover for that, thinking about it. Because another thing that I found when tidying up was these really stiff chipboard and they might be, yes, they are exactly the right size. And then just make a spine. Oh, my gold. So many projects. Um, I'll put that in there in case I decide to do a patterned front for it. I don't think I'm going to go with the lace. I, I think I am going to sort of be a bit cheaty and do the... Um, Do the sewing on the machine it's going to be an awful lot quicker i've got so much hand sewing going on at the moment that i'm getting a little bit overwhelmed by it all so i think i'll whip it through the machine right that can go there with machine projects to do 
Right. In the meantime, <laughs> you totally digress there, Susan. Right. Let's get these ones from, yes, from uh, Saturday, no, Friday, wrapped up so that they don't get all manky. So I think card. Why did you cut them out of that? That's a bit thicker. trying to keep myself a little bit more organised and motivated so it can get a little bit overwhelming otherwise I say I've got so many things I want to do with you guys that Well, another thing I found. Hold on, I'll go and get it. Oh, I hope you got a cup of tea. Got a cup of tea? It's one of me chatty ones. Let me go in. Oh, didn't even get my end. <laughs> what were you doing there, you stupid person? Right, let's, let's actually catch the end, shall we, Suze? Yay! <laughs> I know I'm not alone. I know a lot of you are like me. We are bonkers, aren't we? Oh, dear. So it's me age. What can I say? <laughs> Makes me interesting. <laughs> oh dear. It's absolutely glorious this. I love this. I'm so glad I bought it. I'll probably be sad that I didn't buy 10 metres, which as I said, is what I usually do. So I'll use it all and I'll be really sad. Mind you, they're pretty good, the people that sell this. They're nearly always at the show. I think they must do exceptionally well. Their stall, you could barely move it it was absolutely rammed with people so but their stuff is just a it's beautiful and b it's such a good price you try and buy their indian trims online and it's almost double the price so yeah no wonder they're popular eh let's get you in there and in there i've got the end this time don't panic <laughs> Let me get that other thing else. I will forget. Two seconds. Right. I'll show you that when I show you my done stuff. Right, this I want to use Reese fairly soon. Put that there. Right, I think you are definitely too wide for these. Yes, you are. Okay. Are you too wide for that? Yeah. If anybody ever sees this die, it's a Sizzix die. There was one in the States. Please, please think of me. Get it and I'll reimburse you with all the postage and the cost. But um, I think it cuts those two shapes. As I say, it's a Sizzix one. But I just can't get it in this country at all. So if you happen to find it in your country, think of me. If I... might work yeah, you can be my little hound dogs go and see if you can find it for me like I say I'll happily reimburse you I'm not expecting it to get it for nothing because there's no such thing as getting something for nothing in this world nowadays that is so so pretty just it's just to be looked at it's never to be used oh look at you you're beautiful there was another stall there they had oh the most delicate laces absolutely beautiful the um the lace guild were there but they were surrounded and i thought i think i've answered my question that i wanted to ask them anyway about the um the 
the lace tape I can get it but it was just so blooming expensive for what it is and I'm going to give that a go for the Battenberg stuff so um, we'll try that and see where we go if necessary I will splash out and get the the proper stuff if you like but um, right is that everything wound that I'm going to use soon so yeah the rest of it's done cool it's all these little things that you put off so I thought I'd sit here for the life out of you guys and we'll get them we'll get them uh, carded up so they don't get in a mess so that can go in my trim box now jolly good <sighs> right <sighs> I still just don't know what to do with this I think it'd make a, as I say I think it would make a lovely journal cover let's see what size you are you are four and a half by eight so I could make an odd size journal out of it couldn't I sort of like a gardening journal or something but then I have got another journal <laughs> I'm planning another one because I need to take it off Etsy actually this cover is on Etsy but this is all my embroidery and stuff that's a big embroidered flower that I rescued from a bedspread but this is something that I hand did years ago. And what it was, was it was um, a stencil. I don't know if you can see it's painted. And then you just um, outlined it. It was a kit um, that I did years ago. So, yeah. And then I found these. I don't even know if these are on Etsy, actually. There's so much in those drawers that isn't on Etsy. And I don't know why. But I obviously made these at some point. And I thought they'd look really good in a journal, um, a, a gardening journal. So there's another project. Flipping X, Susan. Right, I'm going to put you back there. Right, let me get this start. I'm going to let you go because I must be driving you nuts by now. Um, yeah, I'll get the cord put in there. Right, okay. And those need stitching. a lot to do no more slacking come on get on it right oh the other thing <laughs> oh susan pea brain right the other hand stitching thing although i did this did i i'll say i did it on the machine i can't remember that's hand stitched the leaves that the fabric is machine stitched it was dotty fabric and I tried to line up the I didn't do a very good job on it. But anyway, it's a little needle. You. Um, little needle keeper. But quite, you know, quite sweet vintage style. And then I forgot to put the the snap fastener in and yeah. But that's elastic there. Are you elastic? Yes, you are. For your threads and things yeah but again it's something that's easily hand stitched so yeah another little project right okay another project <laughs> i haven't got anything going on otherwise <gasps> right let me show you what i did get accomplished and i kind of did these after um when i used to log off from work just to sort of you know let the brain decompress so this is a giant well, quite large um film fronted goodie bag you know uh, for your sewing your knitting whatever you want to use it for basically um i'd had these prints oh gosh i can't even remember where i got them from prints they're not prints you wally they're stitched i don't know i don't know where they came from i might have picked them up at the car boot something it's like i've got glue on there that's fabulous well done um, yeah, I probably, I don't know, I don't know where they came from, I'm going to stop waffling. Um, yeah, so they're really handy bags actually. Um, it's covered in bits which I will take off before it sells. And um, yeah, they're handy, that's nice. Once I get in the mood, I fly, you know, I fly through sewing. So this is a lovely uh, boxed pouch which has one of those lovely lace zips. Ta-da! And then I did a little bit of um, 
applique, you know, embroidery. I made the little, I'd done these little things yonks ago. And, um, yeah, I thought it looked a nice on there anyway. So that's that one. And then I finished off these. I have shown you these before, but I put all the poppers on now. A couple of them just disappeared and sold quite quickly, actually. I was quite pleased with that. I corrected that one. That's the one that had the wonky seam. So that all got corrected with the bunny. And then the giant flower. I think they're great fun. I think they're such, you know, they're so eclectic. Honestly, Susan, tidy up your bits and bobs. Um, yeah, and they're great for like, you know, scissors and things like that. Or a little sewing kit, whatever you want to do with it. And then again, I'd had all this cut. So Foxy, Rabbit and these ones are Velcro. Which makes them even, even easier. In my mind, anyway. Uh, more foxes. And a big one with the stag and the squirrel. And that one will hold a lot of stuff in there. So, it's very really pretty. Go in. Thank you. Yep, that one. And then I did a load of sheepy ones. And these are ones that I've not got on Etsy yet. So these are little lamb ones. I waste so much of this fabric, it was really starting to annoy me. So although I could make some scrappy projects out of it, I decided to start putting my template over. I'm really thinking about placement. Um, so yeah, there's all these different sheep that I managed to get basically. So um, yeah, they need to go on the old shop. Um, these really fun bags with their little tassels and their box bottoms grab handle all of that goodness and then another one's very similar different color handle uh, yeah same thing basically and then these which are a bit of an experiment um not quite sure about them but i think i like them they're little um sort of like arty folders and what i've done differently i've laminated the front I don't know if you can see that, yeah. Um, and collaged and laminated basically. And then I've put in like um mixed media card, uh, yeah, mixed media card, and then watercolour card, paper, whatever you want to call it, but it's quite a card actually. And then, you know, etc. etc. I thought they were fun. I thought they were quite nice to just sort of pop in a bag if you're travelling or what have you, and then just decorated them with these are a bit big, but it was the only one I had in pink. But also, if you collage in them, you've got plenty of room to let it grow, basically. So so that's that one. And then this one, uh, same thing, basically. Um, and then I put a load of giant, I don't know what they are, islet -y type things, but they're double, it's like they're making, I don't know what they're called, these. Making memories, is that? I don't know, hearts love, two dimensional, dimensional two sided embellishment. So yeah, I thought I'd put those on there. And again, it's just uh, watercolour and mixed media <laughs> words, uh, mixed media card. So yeah, and again, you know, because the it's quite a big spine, so you can, you know, collage your heart out in those. So I thought I'd don't give them a try for an experiment. And, yeah, so I shall hopefully get round to listing them all this afternoon. But if I don't, nag me. If you are desperately, desperately in need of something, just let me know. I prefer to trade off of Etsy because they charge me so much blinking money. Right, um... I think that's everything. It, it's a bit of an odd video, I'll be honest with you. But I thought if I hold, if I tell you what I need to do, you can hold me accountable and say, "Oi, you still haven't finished." And I'll go, "Oh, yeah, you're right." So, um, yeah, quite a lot to do. I might whiz through that so for the soul book this afternoon actually and get that done because that's like three years ago now. <laughs> Time to get it done, Susan. Time to get it done. Right. Let's get listing. Let's get doing stuff. Let's get sewing, actually. It's time for a cup of tea as well. Because it just is that time of day. 
Okay, right. Um, that's it. I've rambled on in your ear. Um, I'll try and do a stitchy one this afternoon, hand stitching one. Um, yeah, and we'll take it from there. Sorry, it's a bit of a weird video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.